Welcome back to TYSN's coverage of the 2023 OSFL Summer Cup. Two games left to go this weekend, and we got a doozy right now. We got the U16 Heronia Stallings battling the Quinty Skyhawks for the U16 Sandy Ruxdal Cup. So it's really good to see, you know, two teams, the Skyhawks in both the U14 AA championship and at the U16 level. Absolutely. I mean, it's quite an accomplishment for that uh, Quinty program. Yeah, it's a testament to their organization. You can tell they're really a team on the rise, a um, team that's making waves all throughout Ontario. And uh, we'll see if they can take down a really good Peronia Stallions U16 team who went undefeated this year, not losing a single game. It'll be interesting to see. So it looks like Quinty will receive the opening kickoff. We'll see what they can do. Are there any players that we should be looking out for? Any players that have you know, been uh, noticed on the plays of the week, players of the week at all. Oh, outside. On this Heronia team, you, you have a bunch of studs. Number one, Noah Buckendale is a receiver. He's won player of the week multiple times. And their quarterback, Ivan West, was a first team all star at the signal caller position. So it'll be interesting to see what the Skyhawks do to defend that on defense. But here we go. Opening kickoff, ready to go. Number seven, Aquinty receives it. Going up the sidelines, breaks a few tackles, loses the football. It does look like the Skyhawks were able to jump on it. Almost a disastrous start. Oh, they're saying Stallions football. Well, we'll see what the referees call. No call made yet. I think they are saying Stallions football, Jesse. I don't know, it looked like... To me, like the Skyhawks jumped on that. And it's going to be first down for the Heronia Stallions. Well, here we go. Here's that oh! offense of the Stallions I was just mentioning. So there you see Ivan West jogging out, wearing number four. What a start to the game for the Stallions. You kick the ball off and you recover it immediately. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, let's see if they can do something with this lucky turn of events. So listen, we got Ivan West with a bunch of motion here for the Stallions. Ivan West in the pistol, it looks like. Gonna give it to his tailback. Makes a couple of nice moves. Looks like number four, Cooper yeah, Miller. Cooper Miller with the carry. 24, correction. Nice little seven yard run there to get things going for Cooper Miller yeah, and this sure. Stallions Quinty. offense. Uh, and Quinty, all they can do here is just shake that off. Play defense. Yeah. Short-term memory. Uh, you have to it have it, don't you? That's all it is. So it looks like about second down and six here for the Stallions. Yeah, second and six. We got West again. Looks like a bunch formation to the right. He fakes it. Oh, he's a lefty. He throws it out to number 84. 84 makes a couple of nice moves. And that is a pass completed by number four, Ivan West. Hits his receiver, Rylan Barco. Check that, 85. 85, Parker Smith, actually. Interesting, Jesse. Ivan Les, Southpaw. He's a lefty at the Sydney College. You always like to see that. Gives you a little different look, huh? A little bit of a different look. In the red zone. In the red zone, here's Ivan West. Little counter, nice set up play here. There is a flag on the field. Oh, 24 stays on his feet. I think that might be an offside on the defense. And that is I think a it might be. By number 24, Cooper Miller. So look out there for uh, Cooper Miller here to play. get a ton of workload for the Stallions. We got a flag on the play. And that was a tackle made by number 44, Seth Lowry. <laughs> Well, let's see if this uh, 
Skyhawks defense can bend but not break. They were put in a pretty tough spot to start this game. Yep. We weren't expecting to go out there so that quick. No, it is offside. You're right, Jesse, against the Skyhawks. Stallion striving right now. So that'll be half the distance, first and five. On the 10 yard line. Yeah, Rooney Stallion's punching on the doorstep right now, deep in the Skyhawks territory. A loaded backfield here on first down. A little bit of motion as West gives it to his tailback once again. And that's swallowed up. Great job by the Skyhawks. Looking like number... And that is a carry by number... 38. 24, Cooper Miller. Nathan, Nathan Clark with a great play in the backfield. Second down and six for the Herodias Allen. So second down and six here. We're going to see what uh, Ivan West and the Stallions offense does. See if they air it out a little bit here. Rolls to his left. Has a man back there. Just overshoots him by a, by a smidge. Yeah, it looked like the receiver was already at the, the end of his route before that ball was thrown. He had to kind of turn around. It was yeah. a little awkward. Timing wasn't on. A little miscommunication, yeah. So it looks like the Stallions will jog out the field goal team here on uh, third and seven. Trying to get the first points of the ball game up. They got an overloaded on the edge here, on the edges. Looks like kicker Trent McNamee. Looks like he drills it. Strong leg of the kicker for the Stallions, and they're on the board here in the U16 Sandy Rockstall Cup. And it was good. It is 3 nothing Peronia. Yeah, like you said, Jesse, I mean, it's a tough start for the Skyhawks, but all they got to do is shake it off, go out there, execute their plan. Three points isn't going to break here during a game like this. So. No, I, th I think if you're the Quinty uh, defense, you got to think that that's actually a win. And you yeah. can build on that confidence to say, hey, we were put in a tough spot. We came away, only gave them three points. I mean, that's a, that's a good stop right there. Absolutely. So interesting here, the Skyhawks are starting with the ball on the 35. I'm not sure why there wasn't a kickoff. Well, I think they can choose, can't they? They must be able to. Davis Lever, the quarterback for the Skyhawks, as he gives it to his tailback. A quick jolt of energy for the Skyhawks, but the Stallions swarm him pretty quickly there after a four-yard gain. Yeah, he hit that hole full, full speed. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Like he was shot out of a cannon. So second down, five to go here for the Skyhawks. Davis Lever in the shotgun. Looks like they got a two tight end set. He drops back, looking like a read option. And oh my, the Great. Stallions are all over it. 42 on 42 the defense. 42 Austin Brabrant. Take a look at that replay really quick here. 42 shoots the gap, takes him down in the backfield. That's a that's a spark plug play for the defense. Yeah, Jesse, and 42 Bravan of the Stallions, recently recognized as an OSFL All-Star. You can see why with a play like that. The Stallions on third down here. Looks like they have the punt team out. Little miscommunication. A player runs onto the field midway through the play. And a nice punt there from number seven of the Skyhawks. Oh, a little miscommunication by the returners. 84 finally gets it. Oh, and then he gets tackled by his own player. 84, Ryland Barco. Had a tough time receiving the punt, and then doesn't help when your players are taking you down midway through the play. Uh, there's a little bit of miscommunication there all over the play. I wonder if he's the only player with the white helmet, so maybe he miscommunicated on which helmet he was supposed to wear today. But... Listen, it's tough when that ball's up there. If you don't hear the call, and this yeah. is a loud stadium, so oh, you, yeah. might, you might not have heard that it was the me, me call, and they both kind of try to field it. Anyways, they got the ball back yeah, to the they're offense. Yeah, they're lucky that ball wasn't put on the turf. 
Ivan West here, first down at the 45 yard line. A little bit of motion, he's gonna give it to his running back. Lots of space on that right side. Plenty enough for a first down. A great run to get the drive started from the Stallions. 36, Matthew Graham on the carry. One of the things that I've been impressed with this whole weekend at the Summer Cup is just the parity at the championship games. Like, they, for the most part, other than maybe a few games, we've gotten some really good ball really games. Really close games. Yeah. Well, you've just seen the Skyhawks at the U14 level prior to this game played in the doozy against the Sturgeon. That was such a good Three game. Three-point ball game. West here, first down, fresh set of downs. Looks like it's Graham again. Flag down. Flag down, stopped for a minimal gain at best. And that is another I think that would be early by movement by the Skyhawks, or sorry, by the Verona uh, offensive line. 44 Seth on Lowry on the stop there. Offside again, actually, on the Skyhawks. Oh, there you go. So that's, uh, they've got to get that corrected. That's costing them yardage. It is. And listen, the Skyhawks know what's ahead of them. They know the Stallions are a talented offense. And taking penalties like that can, can put you in a hole early. Yeah, I think uh, defensive coordinator got to get the guys together over the sideline next uh, series they're off and just say, listen, it's the, it's the alignment. We got to yeah. get the first thing right here before we even line up. So we got West here on a first and five as he drops back. Looks to his left. He's got a man wide open, Jesse. 84. What a job getting under that ball. What a catch from Ryland Barco. Oh, you see the replay I, here, Deb. He is wide open. Makes a great adjustment, but then the turf monster gets him down. Well, it was just a, it was a great adjustment to even just get under that ball. A lot of air on that ball from Ivan West. And you know what? I mean, I know they catch a lot of balls all, all season and all practice, but yeah. when you were that open, yeah, it's, tough. It's, it's a lot yeah. of pressure to yeah. catch that ball. It is. All right, Ivan West, again with this loaded backfield look. He's got two receivers motioning out to the right. He'll give it to, it looks like, Graham again. And Graham swallowed up. Oh, but the, the line's pushing. And that is another carry by number 36, Matthew Graham. Well, I just want to get shot after this. So you got to expect the Stallions offense to feed the ball to Matthew Graham a lot. Um, back in, I think, week four or five, he put up four touchdowns for the Stallions offense and one player of the week. Definitely a player to keep your eyes on, number 36, Graham of the Stallions. Yeah, he looks like one of those north-south tough oh, running yeah. backs. Here we go, West on second down. He drops back. He looks right. He's got a man. Touchdown, Aronia Stallion. He finds Jake Allen in the back of the end zone. A great job by the Aronia Stallion to get back on the board. So, you know what he does? He, he takes a little bit of a fakes the out route at five and then comes back inside. A beautiful Beats route. Beats his man. Beautiful route. Great job by Heronia. So 15, Trent McNamee on for the extra point. Heronia off to a hot start here, Gus. And Trent McNamee out there to attempt the extra point. And it looks like it is through, Jesse. So it's 10 nothing here, Heronia, with five minutes left in the first yeah, quarter. The if, you're the, if you're the Skyhawks, what are you trying to do? I mean, you're just trying to sustain an offensive drive, right? I, I think you've got to manage the emotions on that sideline. you gotta, you got to get the guys together and say, listen, listen, let's calm down. Let's get back to basics, okay? Uh, no reason to be uh, alarmed. I mean, they got to clean up a few things in the secondary. Yep. But uh, if they get that together, I think these are two closely matched teams. Now, oh, it's important for the Skyhawks, though, on this offensive series to try to get a few first downs, get yeah. a little momentum a little on their momentum, side. Yeah. So it looks like McNamee is also their kickoff guy. He set the booth. He's got a strong leg. So if you're just tuning in now, we've got a ball game, 10 nothing, Heronia over the... Quinty Skyhawks at the U16 AA Sandy Ruxdal Cup. Here from the beautiful field of Alumni Stadium at the Windsor, U University of Windsor 
A little onside kick here, Jess. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, no. Yeah, we've had a little bit of weather today, Jess, but other than that, the weekend's been beautiful. Yeah, not too bad at all. And it's uh, it's a nice change up doing these championship games when it's not snowing. <laughs> yeah, the summer's nice, eh? nice, nice touch. So we'll, we'll redo that one. Let's see if they still go for the onside kick. They do, they're not hiding it. That's way out of bounds. So Quinty will take over with some good field position. Peronia helping them out a little bit there. So let's see if Quinty can get something going. Get a drive going, get some momentum going for the squad. We want to remind all our viewers that the Football Ontario Mega Raffle will be drawn later tonight, the end of the next game or sorry, at the halftime of the next game. The current jackpot's at $189,790. So the winner will be wow. taking home 94895 right now. Almost 190, eh, Jess? As the Skyhawks take over and give it to number seven, it's swallowed up by the Stallions. Number 44, Jacob Linares. You can visit the OSFL or Football Ontario social media to find the link to purchase your raffle ticket before that draw in a few hours. It's actually three hours from now that draw is happening. So the Skyhawks here on second down looking to just move the ball and get something going here. Josh back, looks to his right. He's got a man for 22. What a catch! Number 22 on the Skyhawks, Clay Taylor. How about, have a look. how about that to get your team going? So he just runs a nine route straight up the field. Looks like the coverage kind of fell off there at the end, and he makes an outstanding catch. And Davis Lieber put it right on the money for his receiver there. This could spark some momentum for the Skyhawks offense. That's just the play they needed. Yep. So Lever in the shotgun, he's got Aiden Spriggs running back behind him. Fake to Spriggs, out to his left. Gets at the 31, all off of his hands. Charlie Mooney couldn't quite hang on to it. You know, it was a good job of the quarterback to get, get that ball off with pressure in his face from number 52. Yeah, he but really sold that fake too. Just couldn't couldn't make the catch. So a big second down here for Quinty. Looking to get another first down. See if he looks deep again. Seems like there's some success there to be found in the Stallions uh, secondary. Lever to his left. The Stallions are coming after him. And there's a ball on the turf. Picked up by number 13 of the Stallions. And they're calling the play dead. Wow, look at that. That looked like a clear fumble, Jess. And that is a tackle made by number 52, Maxim. Don't know why they called that dead. But an outstanding defensive play by number 52. Wow. And he got right in there. I think he got through about two or three blockers on route to the quarterback there. He is causing some issues yep. for that Skyhawks offense. So luckily the Skyhawks will retain possession, but no choice but to punt here. A good punt that trails out of bounds there. So luckily the Skyhawks there, I mean, that could have easily been seven points on the board there for, uh, for Heronia. We're going to step aside for a second and we'll be back shortly. Attention all football fanatics, the clock is ticking on the Football Ontario Gridiron Gold Mega Raffle. Your shot at winning big while supporting the sport we love. But time's running out. Sales close this Sunday, August 6th, during the grand finale of the OSFL Summer Cup. Don't miss your chance to be a champion for Ontario's football community. 
Get your tickets now and get ready to celebrate victory on and off the field. So Heronia takes over. They're deep into their own side of the field here. Ivan West looks like he's got three tight ends set to his left. Gives it to the tailback. Looks like Graham again. Graham sifting through traffic. Gets through for a great game. Graham really nimble on his feet there, handling that. Yeah, he almost got tackled in the backfield there. Powerful runner. And a nice run. So Stallions second down here with about maybe a yard and a half to go. Two minutes to go here in this first quarter. Heronia still up 10 zip. Ivan West takes the ball. He's got two running backs. Looks like he gives it to Graham again. And he's he met it. quickly. Right at the sticks. Good stand by the defense. We'll see uh, where the spot is here. Third down, marked quick. Great job by the Skyhawks Scott Scott front four there. So it looks like uh, that's a huge stop to force Heronia's punt team to come onto the field. Well, the uh, Ontario Zebras, the officials this weekend have done a fantastic job. Oh, yes. Fantastic job calling these games fair and making the play go. No, they've done a great job, Jess. Always got to show some love for our Ontario Zebras. That's a nice punt from the Stallions. Back to return. Looks like number 10 of the Skyhawks. He swallowed up quickly. Nicholas Barron. For any players watching, the Ontario Football's Official Association are always looking for new players to get into refereeing. It's a paid summer job. You, you can determine your hours. So if anyone wants to get into refereeing, it's a great way to complement your playing career. There's lots of touch, lots of flag games you can get in there. You can go to the OFOA.ca and click apply to become an Ontario Zebra today. We got to do those plugs, right, Dev? Without referees, and it's, it's, just, a it's just a scrimmage. That's right. And that is unnecessary roughness from the Quinty Skyhawks. All right, so the call is unnecessary roughness, and it goes against Quinty. So they were going to take over this possession with great field position, but now they're still at midfield at about their 50-yard line. So let's see if Quinty can get something going here. Davis Lever and company. Beaver fakes. No, he does give it to his tailback here. His big running back, number 34, Nico Papadopoulos. Yeah, I noticed too, here in the secondary, Heronia is playing some press coverage. Actually, they're coming up showing press and then bailing out. So they're giving, giving the offense a couple different looks. You know, that's uh, that's some extra, you know, extra detail that the coaches are asking them to do. And uh, we'll see if it confuses the offense a little bit, causes an error. Definitely not something we've seen too much this weekend. They must have confidence in their secondary. Lever in the Skyhawks, second and about six or seven to go here. As he draws back, looks to his left. Has a man and is through the fingertips of Nicholas Barron. Lever put that one maybe just a tad high in the Skyhawks. Plenty of will have to come on once again here with 13 seconds to go in the first quarter. Nicholas Barron. And that'll be third down and seven. 13 seconds left in the first quarter. So the Skyhawks, a little bit of struggling here on the offensive side of the ball. Play, yeah. the, play the field position game here, though, and uh, hopefully work some things out on the sidelines. Yeah, a little bit of nerves, I think, maybe on their part. Nice little punt here, though, from the Skyhawks, number seven. 84, though, finds a crease. Gets through, makes a few men miss. A great return by Ryland Barco. You said his name a lot here today. Dev, yeah, you kind of get the sense, though, that if Skyhawks can't put things together, they're just kind of holding on from this game breaking You're right. open. You're right. Peronia is definitely showing that uh, these explosive players are starting to, starting to break through a little bit. Yeah, starting to find something there. 
We'll see what Roni does here as we start our second quarter. Oh, my apologies, the first quarter is done now. Well, we're going to step aside for a moment. We'll be back with the second quarter shortly. So here we go, Hironia to begin the second quarter as Ivan West finds uh, number 84 there for about a three yard gain. Really likes going to uh, number 84, Ryland Varco. A lot of options on this uh, Stallions offense. Got there. So West and the Stallions here with about a second and seven. Looks like an empty backfield here for West on second down as he rolls right. Has a man underthrown just a bit there. And the Skyhawks defense gets off the field once again. Skyhawks doing a good job of keeping their offense in this game right now. The offense going to have to do something here shortly to get some points and some first downs on the board, first and foremost. Yeah, it kind of looks like, you know, reminiscent of the Kingston game where Kingston's yep. offense just really, really struggled to get anything going. Plenty of time here for the Skyhawks, so we'll see what... Uh, what the coach draws up going forward. As the Stallions are lined up to punt. A good punt there from the Stallions. Number seven of the Skyhawks gets the return and a great job by the coverage team of getting down there and snuffing that out pretty quickly. Uh, late flag on the sideline. Late never flag. Good. Could be a late hit on the Stallions. Let's see what the call is here. So the Skyhawks do get the additional yardage here after it looks like a late hit from the Stallions. So here we go, they take over at about midfield. Let's see what they can get going. They got Lever. The signal caller gives it to, looks like number 11. You get some decent yardage there, Aiden Spriggs. Seems like a north-south runner. On the so early in the game, it's a big second down here for the Skyhawks. Even if they don't get the first down, try and get some good yardage on offense here with 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. Here comes the snap. Lever surveys. Has to move to the left a bit. Oh, and that's picked off! A great job by the Stallions. There is a flag on the field, but as it stands right now, number 34, the Stallions, Scott God, I Barkley. think that was an ill-advised throw. He had to sidearm it. Yep, some and pressure I'm, right in his grill. A nice, nice defensive play to intercept that ball, take it back. 
Looks like it, the penalty is against the Skyhawks and the Stallions will decline. Just a, a, a tough first half so far for the Skyhawks offense. But a great play in the secondary there by the Stallions. So let's see what the Stallions have here. Getting taken over with some pretty good field position. Ivan West and company. Let's see if they get Matthew Graham involved a, a tad more here, the tailback. That bunch set to, to the left here. Ivan West drops back. He pump fakes. He goes deep. A little bit of miscommunication as it's too deep for his receiver. Looking for Jake Ellen once again. He scored the touchdown earlier. And, you know, the coverage was there. They had two, two guys covering him pretty well. So good job not to bite on that double move by the defensive secondary. And that sets up. Is it second down? Yeah, second down and 10 here. Like we said, the Skyhawks defense, they've been playing good. They've been rallying through the football. Let's see what they can do here. Loaded backfield for West and the Stallions. As he drops back and he looks left, he's got 84. It turns him around, overshoots his receiver once again. These Stallions receivers are doing a good job getting behind the secondary. West just missing them by a little bit right now. A little bit too much juice on the ball in those yeah. last couple of throws. A little amped up, maybe, you know, championship game. Oh, he'll make the adjustments. So the Skyhawks, once again, are going to get off the field and give their offense and another shot. So another big offensive series coming up. If they're able to recover this this punt for the offense, they need to find something here in the second quarter. Seth Griffin and Nicholas Barron back to receive the punt. It'll go to Barron. Oh, excuse me. It'll go to uh, Seth Griffin, but he's just swallowed up. This stallion team is getting down there on special teams. So we got over eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. Skyhawks yet to get any points on the board. We'll see what they're made out of on this drive here. See what the coaches call. Maybe get some extra protection back there for Lieber. Let him make some reads. So here is Lever. Looks like he's got a tight end, some extra protection to his left. He drops back, he looks left, pump fakes, has to step up in the pocket. He goes, he throws, he misses the defender there. Great job of Lever for uh, getting a few yards out of nothing. Uh, Hironi, a defensive player there. Number five, a little shaken up. Yeah, number five, Sam Granger. Hold, holding his side a little bit, but looks to be okay. Yeah, and this Stallions defense, they just, they they swarm to the football, it seems like. Yeah, they're fast defense. Yeah. Tough for the offense to get what they want. All right, empty backfield. Yeah, Davis Lever trying something out here. A little bit of space here for number seven. And it, like, once again, they rally to the football so quick. <laughs> Seth Griffin does get a few yards there, but I don't think it's enough for a first down. Uh, number 57 on uh, the defense, he, he almost got that ball up. Yeah, Jake Levers almost had it. He had a big forearm in there. <laughs> As he's making the tackle, he's trying to rip that ball out. So really nice, nice play, Good, well coached. He's doing what the yep. coaches are telling him to. Just shy of the sticks, and the Skyhawks do seem to be jogging on their punt team. With about a yard to go, Jess, I would consider going for it here. But oh, they oh! It looked like it off. might have been a fake, but it wasn't. And the punt is cleanly handled by number 84. With a sudden burst of speed, flag on the field, potentially no yards. This 84 for the Stallions, Ryan Lavarco, seems to be a, a great runner with the football in his hands. There's a flag on the play. 
So the raffle, the Ontario Mega Raffle is now at $190,590. The winner tonight in only just under three hours is going to be called. It's going to take home $95,000 plus. So Jesse, you think that gets the 200 grand? Wow. You know, we got to get out. We got to support the club. You can select which club that you want the proceeds to go to. So get out there, purchase the raffle, get us up to 200 here. A couple hours left, people. That would be cool, Jess. I know the Skyhawks have had some really good support in the 50-50 raffle. Tons of money raised for their club. They've done a good job. Ivan West here takes over on first down, gives it to his tailback, Matthew Graham. He picks up about six to seven Matthew yards. Matthew Graham with the carry. So Quinty putting their defense in the position again where they're really asking for a big stop out of them. They've gotten them a few and they haven't been able to capitalize. Tough spot for the uh, for the offense of the Skyhawks. Yeah, and you know, it's tough on the defense too when you, you, yep. you consistently give your offense a shot and get the ball back for them and they just can't get anything happening. After a while, it takes its toll on that Confidence defense. killer. Ivan West looks to his left. Overthrows another receiver. Done that a few times today, which has been to the Skyhawks' benefit. Yeah, he's, he's struggling a little bit on his accuracy today. Yeah. So a third down, the Skyhawks once again get off the field. I'll bring on the Stallions' punt unit. Just over six minutes to go here in the first half. We still got the Stallions leading the Skyhawks 10 0 in the U16 Sandy Rockstall Cup. Here we go, another punt formation for the Stallions here. Skyhawks once again with two returners back. A nice punt from the Stallions aiming towards the out-of-bounds marker. Really just a perfect kick there by 57 Jake Lavers. Yeah, that's smart. You know, they're not giving him an opportunity to return that. So I like the like the strategy of just kicking that out of bounds. Yeah. So just under six minutes to go here in the first half. What do the Skyhawks have to do to get something going on offense? Well, I think uh, I think we haven't really seen too much of this quarterback taking off himself. I don't know if that's something that's really you know what he's accustomed to doing, but yeah. I think we, they've got to try something different here yeah. at this point. The swarming defense for the Stallions, and here is Lavers or uh, Lever, the quarterback, looking right. He's got a man. There's a nice completion for the Skyhawks as he finds Clay Taylor once again. If I'm the Skyhawks, I stick with that connection going forward. Seems like Lever and Taylor have a good connection. There's another about 15 yard gain for the Skyhawks. Well, it looked like the defender might have fallen down too. That's why he was yeah, open there help on the sideline. That helps, yeah. But it's momentum nevertheless, and here's Lever once again on the first down, fresh out of downs for the Skyhawks. This time he gives it to his tailback. And uh, Aiden Spriggs is swallowed up once again. That is number 11, Aiden Spriggs with the carry. Yeah, these are tough yards earned oh, yeah. by this Quinty number offense. I mean, that, that front seven for the Stallions, they're not having any of it. Second down and eight. About to hit the five minute mark here in the first half. Second down and seven for the Skyhawks. See Just under it. five minutes. Yep, here's Lever. Josh back looks to his left, looks to his right. He's got a man. Oh, did he make that catch to rest immediately waving it off? Just out of bounds. Was that, yes it was Clay Taylor once again. A valiant effort to make that catch. So he just runs a straight go route, it's well covered. He goes up to the highest point and he almost came down. He's just just too far, too close to the uh, sideline. You know, a great job by the DB and the Stallions. They're using the sidelines to his advantage. That's a good point. Just kind of riding them, riding them closer to the sideline the whole time. So the Skyhawks punting unit has to come out once again here in the first half. Just over four minutes to go. Oh, and there's some pressure in the backfield. Great job by the Skyhawks punter getting it off. 
A clean catch by the Stallions, number 24. He gets going. He makes a few people miss. And coming to the team, by number Cooper Miller. Cooper Miller. So Stallions, another shot here to uh, go into the half with a big lead. Currently up 10 zip. I'd like to see the Stallions get it to uh, Matthew Graham a little bit more on this drive. Seems like West is having a little bit of trouble in the first half, finding his receivers. A few overthrows here. I mean, this is only a 10-point game. Yeah, it's a close game. West got two running backs in the backfield with him as he drops back and he looks right, fires deep once again, and, and just way over the head of his receiver. Uh, the Quinty quarterback had a better shot at that. <laughs> And that is an incomplete pass. For West is just trying to show Ryan that arm Parker. off to scouts in attendance today, I think. That'll be second down and 10 for the Heronian Stallion. But you know, I like the calls. They're aggressive. Yeah, very aggressive. And we know that he has the skill positions on the offense. Yeah, they do. You just got to give them more of a shot with well, these throws. Yeah, it's accuracy. Uh, if you can just kind of tighten that up a little bit and get it in the catch zone, I think he's going to have some success. Here we go, another shot here on second and ten as he rolls right. The lefty rolls right, and he's hit hard. They're saying incomplete, but number 92 of the Skyhawks, Connor Prevost. Yeah, that's a good call there. Way okay, to get in there. Let's have a look at the replay, Jeff. Interesting decision to roll right with the left-handed quarterback. And Connor Prevost gets in there. Nice pursuit by the defense, though. So same story. The Skyhawks do get the, uh, you know, get the Stallions off the field. Eventually, they're going to have to make something out of these stops by their defense. A good defensive battle so far in the first half. Yeah. Just under four minutes to go here. We got 3:35 on the clock. Stallions are lining up for another punt. Seven. Jake Lavers. Good another good punt by Lavers. And that's going to fall out of bounds again. He's mastered that. Well, hey, listen, this special team's punt unit is doing their job. So we're going to step away just for a second, folks. Get your Football Ontario Mega Raffle Gridiron Gold tickets. Only a few hours left to win that big 90,000 plus pot. So the Skyhawks take over here once again at about the 35 yard line. Lever drops back, got a ton of pressure in his face, but he escapes it. Makes a couple men miss, a couple men fall down, breaks a tackle. And a flag late, could be a late hit. Davis Lever is with the quarterback keeper. I think that penalty is going to go the Skyhawks' way. So like yeah, he said earlier, Jesse, Davis Weaver, time to take things into his own hands and, and call his own number, and he does there, breaks a few tackles for a nice 10-yard run. Well, I think, you know, when offenses are struggling like that, sometimes you just got to reset, get the ball in the, in the best athlete's hands. Now, the nice thing is at quarterback, if he can create a little bit of space, a little bit of disruption, that's really hard to stay on coverage downfield for the secondary. So somebody's going to break open, he finds them, they're back in this game. Yep. And the 15 extra yards helps the Skyhawks, and now they're in Stallions territory for one of the first times today. Let's see if Lever continues to call his own number. Josh back, looks like he fumbles the snap, fumbles it again, and he'll just jump on it. Maybe about thinking about running too early there. Yeah, he's getting his eyes downfield a little too quick, and that's a costly mistake for the Skyhawks. Well, you know, and that's an added... Uh, element to the Stallions having such a good pass rush. You know, you're thinking about things too quickly because you know they're coming after you. Hey, toughest position, right? Yep. Being the quarterback. Yep. Balls in your hands every every play. Every play. So second down and a long way to go after a uh, after a great run from Lever. See what they can get done here as he rolls left. He's looking deep. He's got a man number one. Catching it, a little Tony toe tap on the sidelines. What a catch from Cooper Broadbent. We'll go to the replay. He just kind of clears out and then runs that deep out. 
Look at the toe tap at the end here, Jesse. Yeah, great job. Great concentration by the receiver. Well, that is a first down for the Quincy Skyhawks. And yeah, now we're starting to see a little bit of confidence building on this Quincy offense. Let's see if they can get some points on the board before they head into half. So it will be third down and about three yards to go after the great catch. They are going to go for it here with a loaded backfield, the Skyhawks. He keeps it himself. Wow. Oh, another late flag. Davis Lever calling his own number once again. We'll check the flag on the field. Somebody's got the Skyhawks bird sound back here. I heard that. That's a nice touch. Well, in the last Quincy game, they sure had a lot of people out. Oh, yes. That's a bit of a drive. Not as far as where we're coming from Ottawa, but. Yeah, Jesse, I'm glad you told me that because I did think there was going to be a hawk in the pack of these shortly, so. Delighted to know that. It will be a first down for the Skyhawks. So with two minutes and change to go here in the first half, Jess, I think this is their best chance to get some points on the board as it will be a timeout for the Skyhawks. they got a lot of time. We're going to step away to recognize some of the sponsors that have helped make the OSFL this season such a huge success. We'll be back shortly. So here we go, first down for the Skyhawks. 2.15 on the clock here in the first half. Lever in the shotgun, looks like an empty backfield for him as he drops back, he looks left, he fires over the head just slightly. Looking for 34, Nico Papadopoulos. For Nico Papadopoulos. We'll see here if Lever's got any more second down magic in him. They're having some success in the air. Yeah. We know that he can he can take off and run when he needs to. I'm wondering if a nice screen play is yeah, yeah. a nice that, time to call that right now. I think you're right, Jess. Here's Lever though on second down. Ball drops as he looks to his right. He's got a man just over his head. Both quarterbacks so far having a little bit of issues with their accuracy. A lot of that has to do with, you know, the defensive line of both teams. Yeah, and also, like, what's the altitude in Windsor? Or maybe that's got something to play with it. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that altitude in Windsor, they always talk about it. The thin air. Yeah. So... No inclinations of a punt. Skyhawks will keep the offense on the field here on third down. Lever drops back. Pressure immediately. Looks to his right. This time he nails the receiver. Number 22 makes a man miss. Touchdown, Clay Taylor. Uh, let's check the replay on this, Kevin. He's been a really important player here. He just runs a deep 10-yard out. Beats his man. Clean and takes it home to get the Quincy Skyhawks on the board before they head to halftime. So like we said earlier, Jess, we liked that Davis Lever and Clay Taylor connection. Sure enough, on a nice little 35 yard hookup, hits the Skyhawks on the board here in quarter number two. That's big. So it looks like their, punt, their kicker is also Davis Lever, kind of a one man show so far. As he lines up for the extra point, a bad snap, but Lever with a strong leg. It's through 10-7, Peronia, with just under two minutes to play here in half number one. Wow, that's so important, you know. 
I don't think you can really put words on how important that is to head into halftime for them in a championship game to get that in. You know, that just breathes whole new, whole new life into the team. And you know, whenever you go into a first half and you're getting outplayed like the Stallions have been outplaying the Skyhawks here, and you're only down three, I mean, it, 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 it boosts confidence on your own sideline. I think we're in for another great finish here. Absolutely. But before that, there's still a minute 56 to play in this half. Yeah, the Skyhawks looking to go back to back at U14 and U16. It'd be a big moment for uh, for the Quinty uh, faithful. Well, it's still a pretty uh, new franchise, really. Yeah. So they're they're still in a build mode. They're still recruiting. I talked to a coach. They said they recruit from about a hundred kilometer radius around Quinty. So. That, play some, kick off. that put some challenges on a program, a young program, get the word out, but I think they're doing a fantastic job, building yeah. their levels one at a time. And you know, Jesse, you were telling me earlier also, love the logo and the color design of the Skyhawks, and I tend to agree with you there. Well, yeah, the first time I saw it on social media, I kind of had to dig around, do a little research, because it looked like a professional team. I wonder, like, yeah. like, you know, are these guys joining the CFL next year or what? Because first off, I had to look up where Quinty was, had no clue. <laughs> Second thing I had to do is realize, okay, they've got a few uh, summer programs. They've got a CJFL team now. Yes, yes, but, they but do. They do. They look like they really do it the right way. The branding is on point, and uh, they're headed in the right direction. Absolutely. So West takes over for the Stallions offense on first down. He drops back. He looks right. Bit of a rainbow almost picked off by the Skyhawks. A great job there by uh, Taven Venn on the coverage. Well, let's just have a look here. I think that's the number two receiver. Half, look at, look half at jams Venn him, get but the, up there. the corner who's playing the deep third comes over and doesn't allow him to catch that ball. And uh, to attack that on, they call unnecessary roughness on the Stallions' offense here. It's going to be first down and forever. <laughs> With 1.43 to go here. You hear this crowd, Jesse. Skyhawks starting to get behind them a little bit. So Stallions take over, second down. Ivan West. It's like a three tight end set to the right. They will keep it on the ground. Look at 94, set the edge there. The Skyhawks are getting going now, folks. 38 makes the stop, Nathan Clark. That is Jackson Ball with the carry. There he is from his That's Sam linebacker line. position. He just cuts through three or four blocks to get into the backfield and make that play. Outstanding job, young man. Channeling my John Cruden there a little bit, Dev. I'm getting going too here. So uh, third down for the Stallions, and uh, looks like all their players are running off the field. Interesting strategy. They'll bring on the punt team. So the Skyhawks in the later half, uh, parts of this first half, Jess, have really come to life, and uh, they're right in this ball game. Oh yeah, you can say that again. 10-7, minute 36. They're gonna get the ball back here. So. Very important to collect the defense right now if you're Heronia and just say, listen, focus on your assignment. Don't let the moment get too big. Another good pun here from Jake Lavers. The seven on our return, and again, this Stallions uh, <laughs> pun coverage team has been dynamite so far today. So the Heronia Stallions defense will head onto the field, and this is, a, this is maybe the biggest series for them in this game so far. Let's see if they can slow things down and get into the half just down by three. Skyhawks take over here at midfield. Lever's got pressure right in his face. 
looks like a sack by number 42 there. Austin Brabant, the all-star, with his second sack on the day. Well, you know, both teams have seen some success on both sides of the ball. This is a this is a great matchup here. Absolutely. Two worthy competitors battling for the U16 Sandy Ruxtall Cup here in Windsor. Davis Lever on second down for Skyhawks offense as he drops back. Looks right, doesn't like it, looks left. Pump fakes, doesn't know what to do. Throws it away. Safe play there, the right play there by Davis Lever. Yeah. Quinty will bring on the punt unit again. Quarterback doing everything he can to try to fake out our cameraman on that last one. Third down, And Quinty's punt team will take over. 50 seconds here to go in half number one. He's gonna direct it right in a good punt. Gets by the returner for a moment, but he does get the football flagged down on the play. Looks like Graham is the returner. Don't tell him there's a flag. Sorry, Cooper Miller on the return there. Yeah, lucky that they don't get another big flag on the sideline over there. Late hit, you thought? Well, you know, it's just, it's always tough when you got all that many bodies on a sideline. Yeah. Good things don't happen after midnight. Yeah, that's right. So 10-7 here, 35 seconds to go. Flag was on Heronia. What do you think, Jesse? You think they play it safe here to end the half? Get into the halftime with a lead? Well, I'd say I'd maybe run one more play, see what we can do. It'd be nice to get a big playoff and just kind of steal back a little bit of momentum. But Yeah, and, we, and we've seen the arm of West. I mean, he can chuck it. You definitely don't want to make another mistake. Though. No. West does have a strong arm here, though, so we'll see what the Stallions decide to do. Uh, number seven, they're coming out Oh, the quads look on the left to the right of the quarterback. And it's a little screen pass. Jesse's been calling for it. 84 on the catch. I like the call. Yeah, they get it in the hands of Ryland Barco once again. Well, and you know with this situation, right, defense is going to play soft. So that's a good call. Catch the ball, get up field. So clock is ticking here. We got about 25 seconds to go. Looks like the Stallions might be content with just bringing this into halftime. Maybe try another screen pass. West got two running backs behind him. Drops back, they will throw it here. He looks deep left. Tight spiral, 84 is down there. Great coverage by number 14, Jordan Staines. He was open momentarily. Here he is just coming down. A little stutter step, two step. He runs the seam. And almost yeah. makes the adjustment. And just great coverage there by Skeins. I mean, you know they're going to go deep if they throw it there with so little time on the clock. Great job by Skeins and the Quinty Skyhawk secondary. So we're going to step away for halftime momentarily. Thanks for tuning in around the province and the country for the second last game of what has been an amazing weekend out here in Windsor, Ontario for the Ontario Summer Football League Summer Cup Championships. Yeah, Jesse, it's been a great weekend. Baronia set the punt here on third down, probably the last play of the half. I see if the Skyhawks can make it something out of it. Yeah, he's just going to play it safe. Good call there by the Stallions. And we got a 10-7 ball game going into the half. The Stallions lead the Quinty Skyhawks. We'll be back for the second half. Just a reminder, there is food and drinks available at the concession.
and welcome back to the second half of the U16 Sandy Ruxdal Memorial Championship game. Jesse, what a halftime performance uh, that we've just seen, eh? Yeah, that's nice. I mean, uh, I don't know if they're a local Essex group, but uh, really great to see some young, talented dancers putting on a halftime show. Just kind of ups the ante on this whole yep. weekend. Just yep. how, how great of a show that the Essex Ravens and Glenn Mill have put on. Been really gracious since the moment we got here. Oh, Glenn's been Glenn's great. Glenn's been helping us oh, out. Been awesome. <laughs> there he is, right behind me. <laughs> so uh, second we, half kickoff. We would have said that if he wasn't behind us, anyway. Yeah, maybe. He did slip me a twenty earlier, so. <laughs> well, you can buy a raffle ticket. Yeah, there you go. All right, so Veronia set to receive the second half kickoff. Scored ten seven for the Stallions. And let's get underway. A really nice kick by the Skyhawks kicker. And it won't go out of bounds, what a kick. 84 receives it, makes what he can out of it. But just a great kick by the Skyhawks there, Marcus Sayu. What a kick. So you got any keys for this uh, Stallions offense in the second half, Jess? Well, I think if we, we look at the success they've had, they've had a few uh, deep shots with some of those great receivers. Yep. So we know that that's going to be there, but be I, think, the I think the success they had was early in the uh, secondary on the Skyhawks might have been a little bit nervous. But, I, I mean, I think that's something they're going to go back to. But if I'm right here, start the third quarter, uh, I'm going to put it in the hands of this running back here and let, yeah. him do a, let him go to work with the rock for a bit. Well, it's a little screen pass out to the right. A good, a good play call to get things going, get the offense in motion a little bit. Maybe get West more comfortable in the pocket. Seaver looks to be hobbling just a bit. Pass went to Noah Buckingdale. Haven't heard Buckingdale's name a lot. He's been a key player for the Stallions this season. Look if they implement him a little bit more in the second half. So to your knowledge, Dev, based on where teams stand in the AA division, do they have a chance of going up to AAA next year? You know what? The Stallions, both teams have been, have been you know, using their success really well at all levels. And I think it's definitely possible. You know, it's such a competitive league throughout double A, triple A. You know, there's talented teams at all levels and all age groups. Yeah, and I think you want to you want to find a, a division that you're going to have success and that you're going to develop the players the best in. You know, you don't want to jump up into the triple A and start to see the likes of the Cumberlands and the, and the Essex and the Londons if you just can't compete at that level based on your size of market. You know, you look at the U18 level at AAA and, and, and how well the uh, Cornwall Wildcats did, you know, that was really impressive because they have so many less kids to draw upon to put a team together. Absolutely. But, um, you know, that's not like that for every club. And I think it would be interesting to see where kind of everyone shakes out for 2024 because of this season. Yeah, and you know what? Kirby runs a great ship down there in Cornwall, and he shows kind of the mold for these, these smaller uh, population uh, clubs in the OSFL. Yeah, he does a great job. He's been doing it for a long time, and it's really built football in Cornwall up to what it is. So the Stallions here... Trying to get off the field quick. They're going to throw out their punter. A shout out to the Stallions punter so far, Jake Labors. He's had a great game for the Stallions. Let's right, see if we see another one of these directional punts. Yes. He's mastered those flags all over the field. Punt gets by the returner. Gets by Nicholas Barron. Barron will just fall on it. A couple of flags early in the play. And Nicholas Barron there to receive the punt. Like there's a flag on the play. We're going to step away while they sort this out, and we'll be back shortly.
history on and off the field. So we're back on here. Stallions looking to punt. We got Glenn Mills, president of the Essex Ravens, checking out the action behind us. Big punt from Lavers once again here. It's picked up by number 10 of the Skyhawks, Nicholas Barron, and he's swallowed up by the Stallions on the punt coverage team. So we got nine minutes, 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Peroni up 10-7 over Quinty. So Jess, the Skyhawks finished the first half really strong on offense here. What are their keys for the second half to come away with a victory and their second straight championship on the day? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, they've got to just find some success. They've got to go to what works. If they can find a couple of wrinkles on some of these plays that have been working for them, uh, how about that? Just as called, Jesse calls it a little misdirection snap there on a great run by 34, Nico Papadopoulos. Let's have a quick look at that. Kind of just parts ways. Strong run, misdirection run there for Papadopoulos. So a fresh set of downs here for the Skyhawks. Loaded backfield on first down. Davis Lever gets the snap and he gives it off to the running back once again, fighting for some hard-earned yards there, Jess. Yeah, but they're ripping off like five or six yards a run right now, so they're starting to find themselves on the O-line, yeah, trying to get some success. And, you know, success breeds success. Yep. So. Yeah, I, I'd keep riding the hot hand of Papadopoulos here. It seems to be really yeah, well, moving forward. And, and you know what? They're setting up play action. Yeah. They're setting up play action. So I'd look at, they're putting number 22 here, who's kind of had the success out on the wide out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number 22, Clay Taylor. Clay Taylor's had a huge game. I think they're setting it up. Oh, Papadopoulos bounces off of a few tackles there. He's a strong runner. Late flag comes in. No, you're right, Jess. I think Papadopoulos and Taylor are going to be your best shots of getting to the end zone for the Skyhawks offense. Yeah, and you know, they're just kind of, you can get the sense they're luring them to sleep. Yeah. And, you know, what he's going to do is he's going to he's gonna fake the handoff. He's going to pull it. He might have to extend the play a little bit outside. And uh, maybe that cut, catch that corner sleeping and boom, you're in the end zone. And a flag against the Stallions means the Skyhawks will take over on first down. Right at the Stallions' territory, inside the 10. And the Skyhawks crowd is feeling the life. Davis, Lever in the shotgun. He drops back. He looks right. Oh, and right off the fingertips of Cooper Broadbent. So I have another look at it here. Cooper, down on the bottom of your screen here, runs a... Slant route, and it's yeah. just a little, a little, little outside of catch zone. Yeah, a little off the mark. But a big opportunity here for the Skyhawks to get on the board and take the lead. Davis Lever is going to look left, a little rollout. He's going to call his own number here, Jess, and he just runs out of bounds. Great job by the Stallions' defense of swarming that up. So about three yards to the end zone, Jess. Do you, do you kick the field goal and tie the game up? Or do you maybe go for this down at the three-yard line? Well, uh, the wind's starting to pick up, and so is the rain here. So I, I, I would just uh, I would go for the field goal, get the points on the board before the storm comes. Before the storm comes, and uh, you know the other consideration to be made too is is their offense is starting to click. So there will be other opportunities. One hundred percent. So they will send on the kicker, who is their quarterback, Davis Lever, looking to tie this ball game up with under eight minutes to go. Lever's kick. Right through. We got a tie ball game. Under eight minutes to go here. Sure for an exciting finish at the U16 Sandy Russell. So 
And just a quick reminder that there are 50 50 tickets available. And at the half, the winner, uh, or sorry, the proceeds uh, for the winner is at $405. Counting. So they will be coming up to the last call for 50 50 soon. Get your tickets and you could be the lucky winner. Again, so the Stallions take over on offense here with under eight minutes to go. They've been stunted lately on offense, but West and company looking to get something done here as he gives it to, it looks like, Matthew Graham. Graham, shifty from that running back position. Like to see him get involved more here in this third quarter. Wow, so the rain adding a little drama to finish this one A little off. bit. And we still got a game to go here tonight, Jess. Well, I think, you know, you know you're a football junkie when you can do you know, 12 of these games in a weekend and still be and still excited, be excited. For the last Yeah, one. yeah, 100%. Following this game, we got the Starnia Sturgeon taking on the Sault Ste. Marie Sabercats for the U18 Sandy Ruxtall Championship. Here's Ivan West. He looks left and it's tipped at the line. Looks like 94, the Skyhawks. Marcus Sayu said his name a few times today. Yeah, he just gets up, climbs the ladder, makes a big play for the defense. Oh, yeah, good coaching. Get those arms up. That's right. Third down. Third down. So the Skyhawks defense has been shutting down the Stallions in the last 10 minutes of play. As they'll send on Jake Lavers to flip field position here. This rain is coming down, Jesse. Lavers still wearing his gloves with the rain coming down. We'll see if he switches that going forward. And a boom and pun again from Lavers. Couldn't get it out of bounds this time, but it's bobbled by number 10 of the Skyhawks, Nicholas Barron. I'll tell you what, Jesse, we feel the momentum shifting to the uh, Skyhawks way right now. The Stallions on defense going to have to do something to sway that back in their favor. Oh, yeah, that's the heaviest rain we've seen today. Yep. If you're tuning in from across the country or beyond, welcome. And thanks for thanks for tuning into the Ontario Summer Football League Summer Cup Championship Weekend. Lever looks back, throws it deep for 22. Oh Almost had him. Almost had Clay Taylor that connection. But you can see too, he uh, he kind of looked back when he was running that route, and he kept running. He tried to weave his way through the defenders who had kind of stopped. But uh, if I'm the Stallions, I got one thing on my mind. Don't let 22 get behind me. Here's Lever. Drops back, still airing it out with the differential down for. He gets it to Taylor, and Taylor can't hang on. Elements playing a factor there, just for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do, right? The rain is coming down. It's going to add a challenge to uh, catching the ball. I think we're going to see uh, both teams heading back to the run game for a little while. Yep. I mean, with a 10-10 ball game, you don't want to put the ball in the turf with a needless fumble. Seth Giffen back to punt. Ball's on the turf. We'll see if they call that dead. They do. So unfortunate there. The snap is low. Giffen has to go to one knee to pick it up. And now the Stallions are going to take over with great field position. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the Football Ontario Mega Raffles now hit $193,000, $20 off from $194,000. Head over, you've only got two hours left to purchase a ticket or repurchase. The winner is probably going to win $100,000 tonight. Oh, yeah. Maybe even hundred grand plus, Jess. I mean, it's been taken off all day today. People want that money. Here's Ivan West and the Stallions. A little over five minutes to go here in the third. He's got Graham behind him. 
He gives it to Graham. Graham to the right. Good job by the Skyhawks of uh, holding them to a minimal mm -hmm. gain there. I'd like to see the Stallions give it to Graham a little bit more here. Close out the half. So Jess, I'm trying to see the down and distance, but I have a swarm of umbrellas in my uh, field of vision. So Matthew Graham, I believe it's second down, and he's swallowed up by the Skyhawks, led by number 78, Max Van Hope. Wow, well, that brings up brings up third down now. So they'll send the punt unit back on. Third down, punt unit. They could even attempt a field goal here. It depends how their kicker is. The wind has died down a little bit. It picked up there at the start of the third, but yeah, I just don't think maybe they have enough uh, leg strength to get that down there. And yeah, you're right. They send on Jake they're, Lavers. They're, they've got the punt. better better ability to cover up with yeah. punt. You're right. Jake Lavers on the punt once again, and he does take the gloves off for this one. We'll see if they can get a rouge here. He's got a big leg. Bobbled, snap. Labor's going to take it on his own. And the elements once again playing a factor for both punters on both teams. Labor's has trouble handling it there, and the Skyhawks will take over about the 40-yard line. We're going to step aside for a quick commercial. Skyhawks with a nice run here on first down. Just under four minutes to go in the third quarter of the U16 Sandy Ruxtall Memorial Championship game here. Sure to be an exciting finish here, 10-10. Both teams trading blow is going back and forth. Looks like a timeout on the field for the Skyhawks here, Jess. We talk things over, maybe let the rain die down a bit. Looks to be a lot more clear out there right now. I'm not going to talk about, uh, I'm not going to jinx the weather here, but hopefully we don't have any electricity, anything electricity in the air. We want to keep the electricity here on the field. Yeah. Jesse, how about that bridge there bordering the uh, the Windsor and uh, Detroit line, eh? Hey, the Can't Ambassador Bridge. Ambassador Bridge. Here we go, Davis Lever gives it to his tailback, and he's met pretty quickly on the, by the Stallions. Looks like Jake Laver is getting a little bit of things done on defense as well. Number 57, Jake Laver with the tackle. That looks like we're past that uh, surge of rain, and now three minutes left in the third quarter. Emotions can kind of settle down, get back into the rhythm here for Quinty. Yeah, we'll see what Quinty does here. First time seeing under center. They're going to sneak it. There is a flag down. But it did look like Davis Lever got enough prior to the flag. Yeah. 
Offside against the Stallion, so it will be a Skyhawks first down here, Jess. The first and ten for the Stallions here at uh, about their 50-yard line. Three minutes on the clock here in the third quarter. 10-10. Your score between the Stallions and the Skyhawks. we got Davis Levy here in the shotgun on first down. He drops back and he looks right. He's got a man, and he catches it. A nice catch there by Cooper, Cooper for Vent. For Vent. As this game goes on, you can see the confidence of Davis Lever just grow. And another first down for the Skyhawks. First and 10 Skyhawks, we got Davis Lever in the shotgun once again. He fakes it and then eventually gives it to number 11 here. Quick feed of Aiden Spriggs. Second down and six to go here for the Skyhawks. Just over a minute left as he heaves it deep. Levers. Oh! A little bit of juggling act there in the end zone by both teams. That's close here. I mean, that's a tough catch. You've got to kind of anticipate it coming through the hands. But nonetheless, he would have been uh, he's a little disappointed he didn't come down with that one. Yeah, and you can tell the confidence and the growing of the offense of the Skyhawks led by Davis Lever. Momentum is in their favor here as a third down. Third down at about seven. We'll see what they do here. Looks like the offense will stay on the field here, Jesse. It's a huge third down for both squads. A minute 20 left in the third quarter. He's going to fake and then go right. He's going to call his own number. And a big stop. Oh, wait. He's still on his feet. He reverses fields. He's pointing out directions. He's breaking tackles. But he will be short of a first down. Lever doing all he can do to get a first down there, but it's not enough. We just catch up on the replay of the last bit. He just kind of steps out of that tackle. But definitely fighting hard for his team here. Oh, did all he could to get a first down there. Minute left in the third quarter as the Stallions take over possession. West, two running backs. He drops back, looks right. He's got a man. And a nice catch by number seven of the Stallions, Jake Allen, once again. So it looks like West's favorite target today is definitely Jake Allen. Twenty seconds to go in the third quarter. Heronia just passing midfield. West has got this uh, three tight end look to his left. It's a little draw play, a little counter to his running back. Stallions like running that counter play. Cooper Miller mixing in Cooper Miller here. So they got two main running backs in Cooper Miller and Matthew Graham. So last play of the third quarter here as we got a second down and eight for the Stallions. West has trips to his left here. He drops back, he looks right. He throws it deep, he's got a man. And great coverage by the Skyhawks. Led by what it looks like to be Number 24 of the Skyhawks. 
That was Elijah Wilson on a breakup, and that is the end of the third quarter. That'll be it for the third quarter, Jess. We've got a close game here, 10-10, in the U16 Sandy Ruckstall Cup. We'll be back shortly with the fourth quarter. It looks like Lavers is back to punt once again for the Stallions. It's a good one off the foot of Lavers. Picked up by number seven. He's reversing fields here. Great job by the Stallions to pin the Skyhawks deep into their own territory. The rain starts to fall once again here. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's been a great day of football. We got one more game to go after this, and this conclusion of this U16 AA championship is far from uh, far from a pre you know, far from the foregone conclusion. Yeah. Maybe we see our uh, first overtime game of uh, championship weekend, Jess. Got to be in the ba uh, minds of uh, these players. So the Stallions have the football here. Ivan West, we're gonna get some points on the board here for the Stallions. So he gives it to Matthew Graham. Graham finds a crease. Graham, one of his best runs of the day. Uh, great hole, great blocking up front. And good anticipation. Oh, timing yeah. that, timing that, uh, hitting the hole right at the right time there. Eleven minutes here to go in the fourth quarter until we decide our U16 Sandy Ruckstall Memorial Champions. Ivan West with a loaded backfield here. Looks like he gives it to Graham again. And once again, Graham's going. Graham bounces off contact. Looks like he's right at the marker for a first down. Yeah, they're really starting to uh, to get the run game going here, and no better time to have it at the end of the game. It's going to chew yep. up a ton of time on the clock, and it's going to wear that defense down further. Well, they're trying to punch us in and take the lead here, and the mega raffles now one hundred ninety-four thousand six hundred sixty dollars. So Ivan West here has got Graham behind him once again. Full back to the right. He does give it to Graham again. They're finding success with Graham on this drive. Another great run from Matthew Graham. Oh, and it looks like he's hurt. He's holding his collarbone there. Let's see if we can. Great holding. He's been running so hard, but yeah, he just, you know, that defender came down kind of when his shoulder was sideways. That's never good. So we'll step aside while they tend to the injured player, and we'll be back shortly at the conclusion of the fourth quarter.
Ten minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. The Stallions knocking on the doorstep. They have a new running back behind uh, West. And they give it to him. Number 21's got a crease. And he scores. Michael Wallen on the score. Wow, just that run game continues to work for the Stallions, and he just walks into the end zone untouched. It doesn't matter who the running back was this drive, Jess. The Stallions were getting it done. A lot of credit to that offensive line of Veroni on that drive. 100%, Deb. I mean, it all starts up front. So 16 to 10 now, just under 10 minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Looks like the extra point was blocked there, Jess. Wow, well, shout out here to all the sponsors of the OSFL season that have done such a great job, starting with Area 51 Sports, the official retailer and, and a supplier of the equipment, shoulder pads, helmets, anything you want, they do everything. Uh, the Quinty Skyhawks actually, good example of the jerseys that they can provide all the various teams. So yes, yes. if you're in the need for any equipment or apparel, check out Area 51 Sports. To us, the broadcast crew this weekend, the U Sports Network, TYSN. You can go ahead on all the social media channels, follow us, like us, give us a little love for bringing more, more profile to the sport of football in Ontario. Of course, Baron Rings, the official championship ring provider of the OSFL. And OK Tire, partner with the CFL and a big supporter of local youth football in the country of Canada. And uh, shout out to the Essex Ravens, Jesse, for being such a welcoming host this weekend uh, at Alumni Field here in Windsor. They've been gracious to all teams throughout the OSFL they really this have. weekend. Kickoff is returned here by the Skyhawks. Rallying and making the tackle is the Stallions. Uh, six point game, we're getting into crunch time. 9.38 left in the game. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the Skyhawks do here. The rain is starting to fall here once again at Alumni Stadium. We're going to see what uh, Davis Lever and this offense can get done. Nine minutes to go here. The lever fakes and then gives it to his running back who's running hard, number 34, Nico Papadopoulos. Well, they use, they go back to that misdirection, Devin, and they like that it's action. effective. They fake that, that jet sweep. They give it to the big man. He puts his shoulder down to finish that run. So the two guys we got to watch for in this drive, just definitely uh, Clay Taylor, the receiver, 22. And, and, and Nico Papadopoulos. Uh, 22 is at the bottom of the screen, first down. Look for that play action, go up top. Oh, the snap gets through Lever's hands, and the Stallions are there to meet him, but he miraculously gets through. Lever still fighting off contact. How did he get away from that mess, Jess? Well, that's a great job making something out of nothing. And, you know, he he fights to not put his team in a, in a big second, third How down. How does he get through that? But, yeah, unbelievable job just improvising on the fly. So second down and about five yards here to go, Jess. You got to believe this has to be... Uh, Three down territory. Well, there's still a lot of time, but right at midfield. Quinty would love to sustain this drive a little longer. So Lieber fakes again. They go to that misdirection once again, Jesse. But Papa Dopolis won't make it. Great job of the Stallions sniffing that out. They've seen it a few times now. And we'll see what the Skyhawks do here on third down. Third 
Looks like they're bringing in a jumbo package. Number 62 is coming onto the field. They bring on Connor Kakonis. So they will go for it here, Jesse, about two yards, three yards to go. They give it to Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos is fighting. Papadopoulos gets through. Hard clutch running by Nico Papadopoulos. Gutsy call by the Quinty offensive coordinator. It works out for them in this case. Seven minutes and change to go here. Peroni up 16 to 10 in the fourth quarter. That's a huge first down, Jesse, I mean. Keep the Nothing drive bigger. going. Rain picks up again, too. Football gods sprinkling a little more drama into the yeah. mix. So here we go, Lever. Papadopoulos in motion this time. They get it to number 11. I believe that's Spriggs. And Spriggs delivers a hard run with the ball's on the turf. I do believe they call Spriggs down there. Mixing in a little Spriggs here on first down. Well, no, number 13 on Neronia, is, uh, he's got to keep his composure. I think he was angry about his face mask getting grabbed at the end, but he took a swing. Can't do that. Can't cost your team at this stage. Oh, he did. Davis Lever gives it to uh, Spriggs once again. Briggs battles for it for another nice game. We got a good heavyweight fight here. Blow for blow. Great games this weekend. Just under six minutes to go here. Peronia still up by six, but Quinty is driving. Another loose snap here. Lever goes to the right. Directing traffic. He's got nothing. He'll play it smart and throw it away. Well, so that will bring up third down now? I believe it is third down. If I could somehow transform into an umbrella, I'd know the down. <laughs> We do have Ladies and gentlemen, we're we're nearing two hundred thousand dollars on the Football Ontario Mega Raffle. It closes in about one hour thirty seven minutes. It's at one ninety five three sixty. Last chance to get your tickets here. And that will be announced at the uh, halftime of our next game. That's the last game of championship weekend between the Sturgeon and the Sioux Sabercats. Well, I noticed, Devin, uh, throughout the week, not only, you know, the grounds crew, that the, some of the young students that work for the University of Windsor have been helping out all weekend, but a lot of the football players from the Lancers team have been yes. holding the sticks. They've been out contributing to, you know, the betterment of youth football, and it's nice to see. Yeah, they love their football down here in the Windsor-Essex area, Jess. You can tell as soon as you drive uh, in on the highway. Well, you're a big Buffalo Bills fan, so do they play the Lions in the regular season? What's that? Do they play the Lions this year in the regular season? Uh, I, I, they might, actually. They might. I might have to get to that game down here, right? Another bobbled snap here by Lieber. But Lieber has some room. Davis Lieber down the sidelines. Davis Lieber breaking tackles. Flag at the end of the play. Look at the magic that he is. Picks the ball up off of the wet turf. And then he's just running to daylight now. Showing off his, his skills here. Lots of university uh, coaches watching the potential on the field here this weekend. Yeah, I love the moxie and the boys. So, Davis Lever 
trying to get Quincy on the board to tie the ball game. That's not us. We don't do that. Good job, Quincy. Good job, Quincy. Quinty trying to tie the game up with five minutes left. Looking like a looking like a sneak from Lieber here. It is Good call, Deb. the Stallions. Great job of sniffing that one out. David Lieber with the uh keeper. Number 42, Austin Brayman with the tackle. 42, Austin Brayman said his name a lot today. Great stop. I'll just announce again while there's a timeout, the winning 50-50 ticket number for $417.50. 450 people watching this. That's great. Again, that's one six six five eight. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Nearly 500 people watching the uh, stream right now to see the conclusion of this one. Quinty threatening. Yeah, Jess, and we'll, we'll see what Lieber does here. If they call his own number again, looks like the Stallions were ready for the QB sneak. He gives it to Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos is stopped short. Looked like the ball popped out there at the end. But a great, great play by the defense. Let's have another look at it. Looks like Braben on the stop again. Oh, he just sorry. shoots the gap. Blows that play up in the backfield. Great stand. Thank you. Thank you. Lever lowers the shoulder. No call. No call yet. They're saying he's short. The stallion stopped him. The one inch line. Look at the push. What do you say, Jess? Was he in? Was he out? Well, I gotta, I gotta believe the, the refs got the call right. What a goal on the stand by the Ronia Stallions. It's getting so loud up here. We've got, because of the rain, you've got basically the whole stadium in behind us. Yep. But it just adds to the, uh, the suspense. A huge stand by Heronia to keep the Quincy Skyhawks off the board. 347 left in the game. Flag or er, whistle by the refs here before the play begins. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, mega raffle has now reached 195,570 with the winner taking 97,785 home. Ticket sales will close in one hour, 32 minutes. Get online, get your raffle ticket now in support of youth football in Ontario. It's going to be about about $175,000 earned yeah. through that raffle. Yep. And you tack on the NFL Canada contribution of $25,000. It's a great job by the province. That's $100,000 going into the, into the youth football in Ontario. So yep. great job by football Ontario yep. this year. Absolutely. So here's Ivan West looking to get his team out of the end zone. And it looks like Michael Wallen on the carry once again. Peroni is just trying to be safe here and, and not concede anything disastrous. Yeah, you don't want to be too safe though. Well, either way, Quinty should have some good field position unless Roni extends this drive with a first down right here. 
Keeping my eye on down here on the bottom of your screen, number seven in the slot. Oh! The Skyhawks were fighting over that one in the in the air, and Ivan West lucky that's not picked off there. They were going there though. The slot running the seam, he gets tripped up. The ball is knocked off, but that's a hard hit there. And it, how fortunate is Ivan West in the stands that that wasn't picked off? So they'll probably trot on Jake Lavers here, who has a big leg for the Stallion. Here comes Lavers for the Stallions. Now, Jesse, he could take a safety here, but he also does have a very strong leg, so they might trust him to get him deep in his Skyhawks territory. Well, they're going to get a good return. The field. If, they, if they get it off, they're going to get a good return yeah. and great field position. Yes. I wonder if taking, you know, taking the two is maybe a better shot right now. I think it is. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's through the end zone! And the choice is made for them. They'll take the uh, safety there. Lavers. So it'll be 16 to 12 here, Jess, with just under three minutes to play. Jesse, it looks like there might have been a flag on the play here. Oh, and that's a killer, Jesse. That extends the drive. Extends the drive for the Stallions. Wow. A bad time to make a mistake like that. So that's a tough, tough fortunate of events there for the Cookie Skyhawks, but uh, they're still looking to get a stop here deep in Stallions territory. And a great run. Michael Wallen, who spilled in nicely for Matthew Graham. He already has a touchdown today. That's a huge run for the Stallions. It remains 16-10. Heronia over top of the Quinty Skyhawks at the U16 AA Sandy Ruxtall Cup. And it's nice to see Sandy Ruxtall, the famous Builder from Ottawa, yep. founder of the Myers Riders football program that have been in so many of these provincial championship games over the years, getting that Memorial Cup named after him. And you know, he'd be proud his riders were in two championship games this weekend here in Windsor. That's right. They usually are. So here's Ivan West. He gives it to, looks like, Wallen again, but the Skyhawks do a great job. It looks like their ball's on the ground here, Jesse. We're going to have to take a second look at this one. The refs are saying Skyhawks football. Well, let's have a look at how that ball gets out. Number 38, Sam Linebacker. 78 of the, of the Skyhawks. Max Van Hope once again. He's had a big game. So this is exactly what the Skyhawks needed. Two minutes to go and change, Jess. Can they punch it in? Through the feet again of Davis Lever. They've had some miscommunication, him in the center today. Well, you know what? I'd, I'd be asking for a towel, a new towel on that referee's belt to get that water off the ball every time. I don't know if that's the problem, but you can't have that happen in this situation. Someone get Davis Lever a towel, please. Yeah, the center of the Skyhawks is going to have to get some better snaps here. I know it's tough in the elements, but here's Lever. He drops back. He's got a man deep. Great job by the Stallions defensive backcourt there. 
That was Trent McManamy. Yeah, they're going up top. They like that. They like that matchup. But the safety over there, he knows where it's going, and he's uh, he's paying attention. Just under two minutes here to go, Jess. We, it looks like we have an injured Stallions player on the uh, on the field. We're gonna step aside, and we will be back with the conclusion of this game. Get your tickets now and get ready to celebrate victory on and off the field. Attention, all football fanatics! The clock is ticking on the Football Ontario Gridiron Gold Mega Raffle. Your shot at winning big while supporting the sport we love. But time's running out. Sales close this Sunday, August 6th, during the grand finale of the OSFL Summer Cup. Don't miss your chance to be a champion for Ontario's football community. Get your tickets now and get ready to celebrate victory on and off the field. So Jesse, third and 26 to go here. Skyhawks, no option but to throw it up. They got no timeouts left. Another bad snap. Oh, and he's taken down hard, picked up by the offensive lineman. Knocked down again, the Stallions pick it up. Jesse, we're gonna have to take another look at that one. Check the replay, we just catch it right with the hit on the quarterback to jar that ball loose. And the offensive lineman tries to get on it, but Kenton's going to be Stallions' ball again. So another turnover for the Stallions. Um, under two minutes to go here. Quinty has no timeouts left. They might be able to just run the clock out. Yeah, really unfortunate turn of events for the Skyhawks. They were in such a good position. They took that low snap, and they just couldn't really recover after that. So, under two minutes here to go. You got Ivan West with his loaded backfield here. Quinty cannot stop the clock. They trust Graham with it, it looks like. He's gonna have to hold on to that football. He's right at the first down marker here. Minute 40 left. In this game, what a show they put on for the crowd today. Yeah, both teams, valiant efforts to win this Andy Ruxtall U16 championship. We got Ivan West with that patented loaded backfield. Looks like they'll trust Graham. With the tailback duties, Graham pushes forward, but the Skyhawks do stop him short of a first down. And that was another carry by number 24, Cooper Miller. So they'll bring Labors back on here to punt. And it looks like the Skyhawks will have another opportunity to go down there and win the football game. Timeout Stallions on the field, Jess. Wow, we've got a, a great finish here. Will the Skyhawks get another shot yet to tie this game? Yeah. I mean, I mean, they will. I mean, they're putting the ball off to them. It's just about can they get that far in such little time with no timeouts? Well, they still got to recover the punt. That's true. And 111 left in the fourth quarter. The score is Veronia 16. With this timeout, I might be getting these uh, punt cover guys together and saying, let's load the line and go for the block. That's right. I was just thinking that. Yeah. That might be their best bet. Get that 22 on the edge. Yep. Catch him sleeping, maybe? Yeah. Desperate times, I, all for desperate yeah. measures. 
Let me get Clay Taylor off the edge. So it's Jake Lavers once again. He's had a good game for the Stallions. He's has trouble with the snap, but he gets it away. It's a short kick. It will be returned. Number seven. He's got the football. He's going. He's going to put them in decent field position here. And a great job laying off on that last block there. He, he had a we chance. see that all the time. He, he had a chance of uh, ear holing the guys, they say. And he laid off. That's just a really good job by number 38. Yeah. That's that Sam linebacker. Yeah, heads up play there by 38, uh, Nathan Clark. So just under a minute, Jesse. Skyhawks are down six. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want the U16 Sandy Rex stock cup? Keep an eye on the center. It looks like 72 has struggled here, landing Curtis. Let's see if we can get his snaps up. That's a good snap. Davis Lever drops back. Two stallions there. That's a hold on uh, Quinty. Hold on Quinty. We'll see if the Stallions accept that or decline for the loss of down. They do accept. St uh, Skyhawks have a long way to go here, Jesse, if they want to win this ball game. So I'm the defense here. I'm, I'm telling the guys, loosen up. Cover four, maybe. Yeah. Anybody, I'd say anybody but 22. Don't let 22 get behind you. Inspire that quarterback. Yeah. And make them beat you a different way. That's right. Like you said, Jesse, here goes Lever. A good run by Lever, but they got to hurry up here. Only 40 seconds on the clock in the fourth quarter. Might not have time to check out this replay. We'll catch the first bit of it. But yeah, they're just putting it in the hands of Lever. <laughs> 40 seconds and ticking. Davis Lever drops back to his right. And great job by the Stallions. Number 15, Trent McManini. Well, it does stop the clock, though. That will stop the clock. But they're just telling those DBs on, on Heronia to stay back, read the play, keep everything in front of you. And that, that safety has a lot of range, so he's able yeah. to get over there on the wide out. No, they're doing a phenomenal job in that secondary. Second down here for Skyhawks. 32 seconds on the clock. Lever again. Wow, a heads up play there by Davis Lever throwing that ball out of bounds. A lot of pressure on this young man's shoulders here. Yeah. He's not getting the snaps he needs. Hey, I mean, it's hard enough to march the field with 20 seconds, march 70 yards to the field. If he doesn't even have snaps that he, that he can work with, that makes yeah. it a little bit even more challenging. You know what, though? I feel for 72. I've been a center before, and it's tough in these elements to get good snaps. Both teams doing a great job. Davis Lever, 20 seconds left. This is the final chance. And it's knocked away by the Stallions. That'll be your ball game. The 17 seconds on the clock. Stallions lead 16 to 10, and it looks like they just sealed up the U16 Sandy Rex. I think so. Court. It does look that way. We check out the last play here. He's just trying to make anything happen. He throws it into triple coverage, and no chance for the receiver. So at the conclusion of this game, gonna take you down, show you the award 
award ceremony. Peronia will be handed the trophy. Unless the wait, Sky wait, wait, Jensen, the Skyhawks <laughs> have the football. I don't know how. And he's gonna launch it deep to the left. And it looks like that one will be knocked away. How many Hail Marys do the Stallions have to knock down before they get these trophies? Lever a little slow to get up. That might be a... Well, he's played his heart out, Jess. I mean, he's played a oh, great game. Yeah, I see. Now, that's just pride right there. Picks himself up. But, Jess, it looks like the Skyhawks still maintain possession here. I gotta be honest, I'm a little lost <laughs> in what's happening here. Second down again. All right. Here's something. Here we go again. Lever to his left. He fires deep. Knocked down by 34 of the Stallions. Carter Barkley with a nice play. Hey, he kind of looked like the receiver was in behind coverage there. Kind of held your breath, but Jesse, there's four seconds left. The Skyhawks still have the football. I don't know what's happening. You know what they say? I think that's that Windsor air that confuses you. The altitude I'm talking about. So four seconds left, Jesse. We're going to see the eighth Hail Mary of these final seconds. Well, this should do it. I, I, I feel think confident so. to say. Yeah. Davis Lieber, one more shot. He breaks away. Lieber, he's going to try and take it himself. He's going to lateral it, Jesse. Number 67 picks it up. He's going. And he's trying to go. That'll be your ball game, Jesse. Finally, the Heronia Stallions win the U16 Sandy Rockstar Cup. And that'll be your ball game. An exciting finish, to say the least. Wow. Congratulations to both teams, Jesse. What an outstanding order. product they put on the field there. Congratulations to the Quinty Skyhawks and the Heronia Stallions. Outstanding championship game we just got to witness. But your Heronia Stallions will be the champion ch champions. U16 Sydney Rustall champions. Jesse, I think that'll about do it for us. Stay tuned for the championship ceremony. Once again, congratulations to the Heronia Stallions, the U16 Sandy Ruckstall champions.